Hey, hi there, Cancer. Welcome to my channel. My name is Linda, and I'm thanking you for tuning in to those energies and influences coming through for your weekly reading, May 12th to the 18th of 2019. Cancer Sun, Moon, and Rising, this is a condensed general reading, so please only take those portions that resonate with you. Crosswatcher energies are interchangeable, and I invite you to, to subscribe, like, comment, and share. It really helps me out a lot and it helps to bring your vibrations into those future readings. I also send my intentions out for my community and my viewers. Please remember to check out that description box below. There is a free birth chart calculator at the bottom. Thanks, you guys. And after the reading is a take note moment. Okay, Cancer. Off camera, I've done a protective blessing. I've shuffled and meditated over these cards, just for you. Your first card, it's the general atmosphere. It's the background and the basis of the matter. The Six of Swords, Cancer. This is air energy. This card represents recovery and transition. There's mental healing here and support. This is leaving your troubles behind. And now there's going to be smooth sailing. It's the calm after the storm. This can indicate a move or a journey. The change will go smoothly and it's relief at what you left behind. You could be going on a short trip somewhere, maybe a spiritual journey, but the storm is broken and now calm sets in. So be open for how things develop and have patience. You are moving away from difficulties towards more peaceful times. This could be a release of tension and anxiety after a period of strain or confusion or something destructive. Now your second card, it's the energy that's crossing over your path. The Ten of Cups, Cancer, this is a great card. Water energy, the same as your element. This is a happy family life and contentment. This is shared love. It's lasting happiness because it's inspired from above. It's perfect human love. It's true love and better than you expected and you're going to be embarking on something that makes life worth living. A happy home and shared love and blessings. There's peace and family and a grateful and joyous family and you have enough happiness to share with those around you. These are emotional connections in home life that are blessed. So take time to be grateful for all the lovingness you have, all the love and happiness you have in your life and focus on what you do have, not on what you have not yet received. The rainbow is symbolic of the connectedness with God and with creation and of the fulfillment of great wishes, the fulfillment of lifelong dreams. Your third card, and this is how it affects you. The Queen of Cups, Cancer. Well, this is you in your reading. Cancer, Scorpio, or Pisces, Sun, Moon, or Rising. This is a person that's emotional and they're loving, they're a dreamer, they're empathetic, and they could very well be psychic. This is success and happiness and pleasure indicated. This is one of the most powerful of the minor arcana cards, and ultimately her power and accomplishments are rooted in love. This is a romantic woman with intuition, a good wife and mother and she's more integrated into society than the king. She sits firmly on the land, a symbol of her connection with the real world and of other people. And at the same time, water flows into her dress, denoting she does not repress her emotions. She's beautiful and fair and dreamy, and she contemplates a cup. One of her aspects is she can see visions in a cup. Yet she also acts, and her activity feeds her dream. She is creative with a strong will, and that enables her to develop her talents. And she draws inspiration from her own life and from the world around her. And she's capable of deep romantic love. The closed lid on the cup suggests her thoughts are in the realm of the unconscious. She sees visions in a cup. She's the queen of emotions, and she has reached a degree of understanding of her own emotional depth and lives to a large intent, extent, 
to the realm of in the realm of fantasy and imagination. She's highly artistic and creative. And now your fourth card. It's the position of the future. It's the outcome, the results, and the advice. Number five of the Major Arcana in the Rider Waite deck. The Hero Fint. This could be a Taurus, Sun, Moon, or Rising. It could also be you if Taurus is prevalent in your chart. This is someone ruled by the conventional, it has to do with a belief system. This could be a relationship, a commitment. This card represents traditional orthodox teaching considered suitable to the masses, whereas versus the high priestess teaches only in secret to initiates. This is wisdom revealed. This can be assistance from a wise and helpful person and the urge to find spiritual meaning in life, spiritual truths. This is living by a higher code of conduct, its preference for the outer forms of religion, the ritual, the creed, the ceremony, the importance of social approval and the need to conform to society. Be organized religion, uh, a path laid out, doing what is socially ex expected. It's conformity and tradition. This card is also known as the Pope or the teacher or the counselor. This is a marriage card. Your fifth card, it's the bottom of the deck card. The underlying issue, this is what's unseen. The Ace of Swords, Cancer, a brand new beginning. Air energy, swords are also called spades. This is the warrior suit. Air energy represents intellect and the mind and the thoughts and the love of truth and justice and spirituality. And they express boldness and courage and can indicate strife. The Ace of Swords represents truth and realization and clarity. This is a new beginning, a brand new way of life. It's a major breakthrough, a new direction in life that's going to bring prosperity, recognition, and spiritual growth. There's going to be triumph over difficulties. So grasp this opportunity. It's a spark, a communication. And there's strength in adversity, and out of something bad good will come. It's a situation that looks bleak, that can surprisingly turn out to be extremely promising. A sense of inevitable change comes with this card. A card of great power, force, and strength. So build your strength against adversity, and study all aspects of the problem carefully, and do not make any rash or hurried decisions. And you're going to benefit from new clarity. It's an intellectual awakening, invigorating ideas. It could even be inspired studies or a passion for principles. But new ideas demand honing and polishing. Your powers of concentration are going to intensify. These are new perspectives, emerging and with them new convictions. So seek and seize the truth. And now your advice from the Oracle Deck, The Sacred Traveler, by Denise Lynn. Cancer, you got choosing your path, and all is possible. Cancer, new vistas are ahead, and you have the power to choose, and within this is your freedom. Do not allow the restrictions and limitations placed on you by the expectations of others to deter your path. Be daring. Cast aside conventions and restrictions. Dance. Laugh. Explore. Go beyond your predictable behavior. Say yes to life. You support others in stepping into their freedom. And the Sacred Traveler wants you to know that choose life on your terms. Move beyond those situations that you've outgrown. Sometimes to be free, the Traveler needs to put down his pack and just keep walking. There are times to live an ordinary life, but there are also times to cast ordinary things aside and fling your arms to the heavens in joy. You're not on the planet to always meet the needs and expectations of others. You're here to explore expand and step into your extraordinary self. Don't unconditionally accept the rules you've placed on yourself or that others have placed on you. Choose pathways that lead to greater freedom and happiness. Here's your take note moment. Once you know the law of attraction, 
You can make the best discoveries about yourself by listening to what you are saying. When you state something as an absolute fact, realize that it is something you really believe, and that belief is creating it in your life. As you hear your words and realize that you're saying something you do not want, switch immediately and rephrase your sentence with the words of what you want. You will learn so much about your past experiences and of what you have created when you listen to your words. And then as you catch your words and change them, you are changing the entire course of your future. Thanks, you guys. I hope you stay tuned in and leave me a comment or a thumbs up. And please subscribe. Now remember, what goes around comes around, so I'm sending you out love and light and blessings. Thanks for watching.